can see my screen, how to engage your student with the online physics games and simulation experiments. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's great. Um, hello again, everyone. Thank you very, very much for joining me today on my webinar. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you all here today uh, in our physics webinar. Uh, I hope you will like it. And uh, let me introduce myself first. I start recording right now. It's 7 p.m. Dubai time where I'm based and it's the 21st of April 2020. So um, the, the title of my webinar uh, first is how to engage your student, which is really very, very important point uh, currently and all the time, uh, but especially right now, while the student is struggling with the distant learning, uh, they need something to motivate them, they need something to encourage them, especially with the online uh, subject and online teaching. Um, so we have in the physics some games and simulation experiments in the mastering physics, which is really great. The FET simulation, uh, I'm going to show it to you online, uh, which will support you and support your student during the teaching uh, and learning uh, process. So we are now away, all, all of us away from campus and um, uh, hope all of you and your students are safe and away from schools as well for those who teach in the school. So physics is a core subject uh, for the schools and universities, for many schools like engineering, science, medi medicine school and many others. Um, so we have a wonderful tool, which is my presentation today. I'm going to, to give you an overview about mastering physics. What's mastering physics? What is it for you for, from the instructor perspective and from the student perspective? And then I will share with you some features and benefits. I will highlight them very fast. Then I will switch my account to share my screen and show you online um, how's the FET simulation works and how the mastering physics works and how your student will engage and play games and understand the concept as well as master the course. And that's why we called it mastering physics. This is the purpose of the name. Now the time is set up at 7 p.m. Dubai time, 6 p.m. Uh, Saudi time. So this is the schedule, the time by our marketing team. So again, my name is Ahmed Samir. Uh, I'm part of the product team here in Pearson, Dubai. And I'm working as higher education learning advisor. And this is my year number 14 with Pearson. Um, so today I will be more than happy to share with you my experience of um, uh, the e-learning and uh, mastering physics. And please, it's, you know, interactive session. Unfortunately, I cannot hear you, but I can read your chat and I can hear, uh, I can, and I, I can read your questions from the chat box. Please write for me any question that you might, uh, would like to ask. And I will be more than happy to answer during my session. So stop me at any time, ask question, or maybe by the end of the session, we can open the discussion for Q and E. So up to you. Um, it's very interactive uh, session. Unfortunately, I cannot he hear you, but you can hear me, of course. So let's go direct to our agenda today. Um, as you can see, I will give you an overview about the mastering platform, mastering physics. Then I will talk about the benefits and features inside the mastering physics. What's the adaptive follow-up engine and what's the learning cycle inside the mastering physics before the class, during the class or distant learning right now? And after the class, how the student will use the MyLab or mastering platform to master the course. Then we'll show you some of the very nice uh, features inside the gradebook, which will save a huge, huge amount of your time. Um, grading the homework, correcting the, the, the assignment for the student, the system will automatically doing that. And if you use any of the LMS, um, 
the four main LMSs uh, like Blackboard, Moodle, D2L, Convent, our, pla our platform direct integrated with those platform uh, with the Thunder integration. So you can uh, find the gradebook automatically synchronized to your university or school learning management system. And finally, I will show you a live demo of how the physics games looks like and uh, the, the fit simulation as well. Uh, and much more. We have... Yes, uh, this, this webinar will be recorded. Uh, I already started the recording uh, of this session and it will be posted online on our uh, website. And Today, uh, I will share with you on my last slide where to find this recording, where to get the presentation, and how to get the certificate, because you will receive a certificate from Pearson as well uh, of attending this webinar. So uh, I will share you with you this information on my last slide for today uh, after I will finish the online demo. So the construction of how the uh, webinar will work. I will uh, discuss through the um, offline PowerPoint presentation. Then I will go to the online part of Mastering Physics and show you the games, the simulations, the videos, the resources av available for the students and the instructors. And I will, after that, show you the QR code and share with you the link if you would like to activate your account if you would like to have a new account with uh, with Pearson, and if you would like to use right now for free with your student as a demo uh, account and demo pilot with your students, how to reach our account managers, and they will help you with this setup. So, mastering physics, as you can see, uh, it's wonderful, easy, very easy, very straightforward platform. Uh, and as you can see, it's an online homework tutorial and assessment program designed to improve results for the student, help the student, the student to quickly master the concepts. So it's important for us as a teacher and as an instructor that our student understand the concept, understand the learning outcomes, how that will happen through the content inside the platform, which design, which which they are designed automatically by the author team, the well-known author uh, for this content, and all of the content aligned to each specific learning outcome. So after the student doing the assignment, the adaptive follow-up engine will work and will show each individual student the strengths and weaknesses. I will, I will show that to you later. But it's customized, it's personalized according to each specific student need and will share with the student the strengths and weaknesses and will make sure that the student understand the concept before they finish the, the, the course. Of course, it's engagement for the student uh, and, and personalized as we mentioned. Uh, engagement because they will find the video, the online um, cases and online resources, the Pearson e-text online and offline, and the games and simulation uh, to make the physics more fun. It's, of course, fun uh, course, but for the student with the games, with the simulation, with the learning aids, with the help me to solve this, with the feedback, that will make it more fun for the students. Okay, so definition to summarize that, from an instructor perspective, it's a course management system. Help the instructor to create assignment, track the student progress, uh, manage the resources, manage the assignment inside the platform, uh, track the student progress through the gradebook, and all the content is aligned to our chapters, a specific author, a sub chapter, and even by learning outcomes. So all our our titles and content aligned to the specific learning outcomes. What is it for the student? As you can see, it's a homework tutorial and assessment system with the online resources, with the video cases, with the video author uh, exercises, which is really amazing, as if a private tutor sitting with a student at home, explaining for them on the whiteboard how to solve this particular example. 
you know it's amazing with the current situation with the distant learning uh maybe i'm a student struggling with uh what kind of simulation maybe uh with the estimation i don't understand the estimation so i can open the video tutor for this particular subject maybe chapter number one and i i will find the author explain for me in two scenarios the first one live scenario in the lab explain for me this particular subject or this particular chapter and the second way in in a in an exercise or example uh simulation where the the author will explain on handwriting as if a private instructor sitting with me explain to me how to solve this problem hello dr ehab great to have you here so uh, again for the instructor it's easy very easy platform to preview the content manage the content assign homework assign any assignment to the student create assignment use the test bank uh, to create quiz create this and it's very adaptive and i will show it to you later on my um latest slides today and of course very easy to manage the grade with just one click from the grade book area you will manage to download the full grade book for the students and the system automatically grading all the assignments for the student. So what is it from the student perspective? As you can see, it's an effective, efficient learning environment where they can access that anytime, anywhere, and from any device, from their mobile, from laptop or tablet, they can access that and they can uh, master the course using the mastering physics. So let's go a deeper and have a deeper dive here into the features and benefits of mastering physics. As you can see, it's individualized and personalized study plan um, working with the adaptive follow-up engine. When I finish the assignment, I will show it to you later. You can, as an instructor, allow for me to take the adaptive follow-up. How the adaptive follow-up engine will work. Simply, it works with uh, uh, strengths and weaknesses for the student. It analyzes after the student answered the assignment or the homework. The system automatically analyzes and personalizes the material that this student, he or she, need to study to understand the concept. To master the course and you can make extra credit on the adaptive follow-up engine uh, for the student who will take those resources and resubmit sub some uh, the system will re already design some questions again after they finish the assignment uh, which match exactly the learning outcomes that you created for your student so it's really really personalized the platform Imagine if you have 20 students, if you have 100 students, if you have 1,000 students, the adaptive follow-up engine will be different from a student to another uh, because it, it's designed according to each individual personalized study uh, student need. Realistic simulations, lot of simulations. We have a great library. Uh, developed and created by Colorado University in the US. We adopt this simulations and add it into the platform, which I will show it to you later on, on my uh, online demo. Gradebook, which is amazing, again, platform, will show you a specific wrong answer feedback for each student, where is the common mistakes for the student. Automatically grading, of course, will save a huge amount of your time and will give you immediately feedback about time, about the day, day of work, about difficulty for the students, where is the common mistakes for the student. Even you can track the student by learning outcomes. So you can add on the, uh, we know how much time we might spend to align all the questions with the learning outcomes, and then track the student's performance based on the learning outcomes. This is one of the super tool inside the mastering physics. Um, when 
you uh, you can tie all the question to a specific learning outcomes and then with just one simple click from the grade book you just click export and one report will be downloaded show you all the student performance based on the learning outcome so it's really wonderful too and much much more functions inside the grade book study area this is amazing this is the game this is uh, where the student will play and learn and where the student will understand the, the concept, where the student will see the videos that are created by the author, either inside the lab or um, in a live case study, live scenario, or even the private tutor that I told you about, where the, the author or the co-author or one of the editor explain for the student with handwriting how to solve this particular problem. It's really amazing too. Pearson eText, the interactive e version of the book. It's not just a PDF format of the book. It's very interactive. Why it's interactive? Because we will see later, students can do annotations, do highlighting, do um, leave note, bookmark some pages, and you from your side, when you do this, it's automatically synchronized to the student view. So student can see your notes. Uh, you can highlight for them some area and it's automatically synchronized to their view. That's why we called it interactive uh, EPU. Chapter resources, this is a full library available for you as an instructor, which will help you teaching this course like full of resources like the PowerPoint, the instructor manual, the solution manual, the test bank, um, the clicker questions, many, many resources available for you online. You can just download it and use it offline with your student or maybe running an online webinar and uh, share the PowerPoint with the student, teaching them how to uh, solve a particular problem or maybe understand a certain uh, concept. So let's now uh, move to the learning circle inside mastering platform. How this platform already constructed the mastering uh, physics. As you can see, three simple steps for our learning circle before the class, during the class and after the class. Right now, we don't have during the class, so we have the distant learning where you can use the uh, learning catalytics. It's amazing platform. I ran yesterday a webinar for learning catalytics. You will find the recording for this uh, platform. It's really super platform, support the distant learning. And, uh, and let, let's start with the pre-class preparation. Some of our courses have something called the DSM dynamic study modules. Those are set of questions designed by the author to tackle the student mind on the certain concept before even attending to the lecture, before even come to the class. It's set of questions prepare the student to understand the concept. Student, how the, the student will answer those questions on the dynamic study module. Uh, student can click one, Answer, uh, one click, that means I'm not sure. Double click means I'm sure. Or uh, they can click, I don't know. What will happen after that? After the system will give them a question per each um, concept. The system will stop the student and then design some material according to their answer, which will be matching the learning outcome and the concept. Some of them reading, some of them visualize uh, content which will tackle their mind and challenge them to understand and really make sure that they understand the goals before they attend to the class. To the class. Then, what's inside the class or using a tool inside uh, with the current situ situation in the distant learning? We have the Learning Catalytics, wonderful platform with a generic content for all of the disciplines, English, math, physics, biology, chemistry, all of the Pearson disciplines. Developed and designed by Professor Eric Mazuri. Um, Professor Eric Mazur is the Dean of Physics at Harvard University, university number one in the world. 
I was super lucky to meet him early this year in March in Oman uh, for the International Conference of E-Learning. He came to Oman, to the Middle East, and shared his experience on how the learning catechetics encourage the student, motivate the student to use the online learning and to master the course. It's really amazing platform where you can motivate the student online using the 18 different techniques of uh, giving the questions rather than the MCQs like sketching, drawing, highlighting, uh, data collection, direction, and much more to motivate the student to understand the concept. It's really super platform, super powerful platform used in many, many universities around the world and developed and designed uh, by the Dean of Physics at Harvard University, uh, Professor Eric Mazur. Uh, and we adopt this platform and add it to the MyLab and Mastering engine. Finally, after in the learning circuit, after the class, I would like to measure my student per performance. I would like to assess them and give them an assignment. You have a full library from the end of chapter exercises, tutorial exercises, test bank questions, many kind of questions where you can create homework, you can create quiz, you can create test, and the system will automatically grading that and show you the immediately feedback then you can start again your uh, learning circle with the adaptive follow-up engine, the one that I mentioned before, because the system automatically designed the material for the student that they need to study, they need to review, they need to read before attending, attending the class. So again and again, the circle is continuously to support the student to master the course, not only passing the exam, we, with the simulations, with the games, we switch the physics course to an online visualized course for the student to not only understand, to visualize the content, visualize the experiment, try it unlimited number of attempts and an unlimited number of trial on the simulation part to make sure that they understand, the, they master the concept and master the learning outcome. So, FET simulation, okay, this is developed and designed by Colorado University in the US, and this is the games for today. But as you can see here in the study area, you will find uh, the chapter uh, exercises available here. The video tutor solutions, this is the private tutor that the author and one, or one of the author team explain for the student as you can see on the left hand side here under study area video solutions where how to solve this question step by step on by handwriting on the whiteboard uh, the author team explain for the student how to do it um, the video do tutor demonstration which is the author or one of the author go to the lab or go to the live experiment for the student and do them a live in the real time, how maybe to measure the speed of a certain car moving to a, uh, to a certain distance. So in the video and you and those resources available for all the chapters. If you can see uh, chapter uh, here up there, chapter one, but you will find all the chapters. And of course, the active physics simulation, then the fit simulation, uh, which is as you can see from my screen, this is the gas properties and one of the games, one of the simulation that I will open today. You can pump manually or the student pump the gas from here, change the volume, the fraction, change the gravi gravity, it do some pressure, increase the heat or make it cooler and then you will see the reaction inside here. So student visualize the, the gas probabilities and understand the concept of this particular example by, by doing, not only by reading or by watching, no, by, by doing they will do uh, experiment. I'm, and I'm going to share with you many experiments from the FIT simulation today. I'm finally here, the Pearson e-text, uh, where the student will do all the annotation online and I will show you 
uh, an interesting thing about the Pearson e text as well. So learning catechetics, we mentioned that. This is the instructor view where you can post many questions. The system already has many questions, a huge bank of questions. You can select from the any discipline, from Pearson content, from community contributed content, which is another instructors and professors like you teaching this course and share their experience online with the learning catechetics. So you can use the question and Oh, and the third step is to create your own question from scratch using one of the 18 different techniques of uh, creating questions to improve the critical thinking for the student and improve their 21st century skills. From a student view, from a student perspective, they can answer the question from their phone, from their mobile, from their laptop, and from any device. So, as you can see here, this is a direction question where the student can draw the arrow between maybe the ear and neck here uh, to answer this question. So it's drawing. And then once they click submit, the system will automatically grading that and show the result to the instructor. Pearson eText, one of the wonderful platform works online and offline. So if the student have any uh, tablet device, iOS system or Android system, they can go to Google Play or um, uh, the Android system app store or the iOS system app store and download the application for Pearson eText and access the book offline without internet. They can uh, access that from tablet or even from their phone or laptop. And they can do some uh, highlighting here. They can leave note or you can do um, highlighting or leave some note for them or bookmark some pages and that will automatically synchronize to the student view. Course on page, we improve the instructor experience which using the mastering physics from the course on page, you can, as you can see here, you can track all the student average for a particular assignment. When you open the assignment, the system automatically calculate the average with one, just one click from the course on page. You can see the high level analytics uh, view of what's the student performance, the most uh, commonly used item in mastering. This is in the assignment area. Um, you can track the student by difficulty, by uh, date, and by uh, time as well spent in each assignment, even in each question. Item library available as well. You can manage all the content inside the platform and create assignment for your students. Much more here, as you can see, the assignment overview. When I open the assignment homework week number one, I can see here uh, all the student score, all the average, the system automatically calculate the average for me, uh, calculate uh, showing me the estimated time for each student, spend time on the platform. So it's amazing. Um, and of course you can customize and you can use this data offline. You can export and access the data offline without the internet. Uh, instructor resources, as I mentioned, this is one of our famous titles for physics, Young and Friedman, uh, University Physics. You will find all the chapters for uh, instructor resources, the IRC, Instructor Resource Center. You can download the chapter PowerPoint, the images, the test bank questions, the instructor manual, the solution manual, and much more available uh, online on the platform. Adaptive follow-up engine. This is a super engine that already customized and uh, works automatically online after the student finished the assignment. Uh, you can choose when you create the assignment. Yes, I want the adaptive follow-up assignment to follow the student uh, answers. So after the student submit the quiz or test or homework, 
system automatically will design for them the material which match the student need and show them what they need to study based on the strengths and weaknesses in each chapter and each particular learning outcome. So you can add extra score for the student, let's say 10 extra points for doing the adaptive follow-up uh, material from here and save that. And you can set up a certain due date, maybe after five days from finishing the assignment, I'll give you extra five points or 10 points if you do this activity on the adaptive follow-up engine. Great book, finally, before we move to the online part. As you can see, it's color-coded, not very nice interface of great book. You can track horizontal or vertical student by student from here or assignment by assignment. The more white, the high score for the student, the more red is very low score for the student. So it's color coded. And as you can see, the system automatically calculate the average for each student and even calculate the average for each assignment. Uh, after the assignment, after you create the assignment, you will find the adaptive follow-up engine. Well, I will show it to you online. When I create the assignment, system will offer me to uh, have the adaptive follow-up engine. Okay. You can track a single student, student by student. From here, I click on the student name. So I can see his or her own grades from here. I can run report for this student, or I can track overall by assignment. Uh, as you can see from the grade book, I can see all the student average, in the homework, in the quiz, in the test, or in a particular assignment. And the system will run for you a diagnostics report uh, to track the student per time, per uh, per item, per score, per difficulty, and this uh, diagnostic report, you can download them as well after each assignment. So, uh, we have question here. Yes, after the session, on my last, last slide, I will share with you the QR code, how to get access to the Pearson eText uh, online and offline. Uh, I, I will sh share with you. Now it's time for the online demo. I will share with you my screen, but let me know if you have any questions so far. Hope that sounds interesting. Hope that is helpful so far. So I will stop for a minute. Let me know. So we have many, many MyLabs and Mastering product for physics, for chemistry, for math, for management, for finance. Uh, and uh, the account managers can be in touch with you, uh, Dr. Hanan, and share with you uh, the specific my lab that is matching you. We have my nursing lab, of course, it's amazing platform. Yes, we do, and it's wonderful. Uh, yes, we have mastering chemistry, and it's wonderful interactive platform uh, with the simulation as well. It's really lovely platform. I may uh, run another webinar for nursing. Uh, but yes, on the last slide, I will show you how to get in touch with our team and uh, how to get access to the My Nursing Lab. Oh, you don't have access to the active... It depends on the, the course that you teach, which current book that comes with active physics or not, uh, but let me know as well which um, book that you use and and let's see it online on the online demo. Uh, Walker. So my, mine was uh, Young and Friedman. That's why. You are more than welcome. <laughs> you are more than welcome. So do you have any other questions before I move to the online part? One more. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen right now. 
Cousier, yeah, Cousier is amazing. 10th edition or the 11th edition? Or nursing? Which one? The updated, the 10th or the, the 11th? Ah, okay. It's amazing platform. It's really very super helpful. Uh, my, uh, my lab nursing. That's great. Uh, you can, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Ahab, for asking this question. Uh, the account manager can be in touch with you and giving you a free access code right now to try it with your students and uh, to see the content inside the platform. Okay, so it's time now to show you the online uh, part of physics. I'm going to share my screen. And uh, I'll not be able to see the questions, but let me ask you one more time. Can you uh, see my screen? Can you see Mastering Physics? Can you write on the chat box? Yes. So I can go and, uh, and see this. This is very good question. Um, I would recommend uh, John Cowley is very, um, and, and Young and Friedman. Those are the best two titles for the high school, uh, Miss Iman or Dr. Iman. Okay, you can see my screen. Can you see one more confirmation? Can you see Mastering Physics? Here. So I can start the, the games and simulation for you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Again, keep uh, writing any question if you have any question. And from time to time, I will see the chat box. Or uh, on my last slide, I will return back to the chat box and my uh, presentation to share with you the QR code and show you how to get in touch with our uh, account manager to set up for you the account or your student account as well. So I'm going to sign in. This is the course on page of Mastering Physics. Uh, this is where you will click sign in. This is where your student will register and enroll into the system. Uh, a much more useful tool here like training and support. You will find the how do I video, which will explain for you every single thing inside the platform on a very short, nice video uh, under the training and support. So I'm going to sign in to my account right now. And choose my course for physics. And then I'll go direct to Young and Friedman um, University Physics, this one. Okay, can you see my screen now? The course homepage for Mastering Physics, uh, Young and Friedman, University Physics. Here is the adaptive follow-up engine, the one that I uh, mentioned before. Let me see on the chat box. Yes, okay, that's great. Uh, here from the course homepage, you will have everything. You will have um, the great book. You will create assignment. You can manage the assignment from the calendar where it will be available to your student. You can see the adaptive follow-up assignment that uh, will be automatically designed after you create the assignment for the student. You will manage the student grade from the grade book and you can access the learning catalytics. This is the learning catalytics, the platform, the another platform. And you will find an online webinar uh, online on our Middle East website for the learning catalytics, how it works, and how to use it with your student. It's an amazing platform. Uh, let me show you, uh, I got one of the questions about where is the adaptive follow-up engine and how it works. This is the adaptive follow-up engine. 
when I create assignment for my students, five easy followed steps here, let's say homework week number five for my student, uh, then click next, save and continue. I will find all the chapters of the book and Young and Friedman, as you can see, very rich with 44 chapters available here. Let's say chapter three, the motion. And maybe I will filter those are all the questions in motion. Uh, maybe I will uh, filter by a specific section, 3.3. or 3.2. So I would select randomly maybe one question and then click next, save and continue. Here is very, very important point to stop student cheating. You can randomize the sequence, you can randomize the variable, um, and you can pool as well. If you select, let's say 10 question, you can ask the system randomly to take one question out of this pool and give it to the student. Uh, but as we select just one question, and here you can tie your learning outcome. The one that I mentioned, you can track all the student performance by learning outcome with easy, simple click from the gradebook. Let's say uh, I will add those learning outcomes to the question. Those are my own learning outcome, or I can add more, maybe uh, another critical thinking one for my student and click save. Let's save. So I can tie all the question with a specific learning outcome, one or more, and click save. So by end of the semester, I can track the student performance, not only by score or by time spent or by other, it can, I can track by a specific learning outcomes. On the final step, I will see the adaptive follow-up engine. Of course, I will choose the due date for this assignment, maybe after two days or maybe next week on the 28th. And then I will enable the adaptive follow-up engine. We'll give it extra maybe 10 points to the student who will do the extra mile after the assignment and access the adaptive follow-up engine. Amazing platform. And then click Save and Assign. The assignment activity added successfully. Just a few seconds and your assignment would be created uh, to your students. Okay, here, as you can see, the platform is very straightforward, very easy to navigate between the, I got some, uh, I got question about how to access the Pearson e-text. This is the Pearson e-text available here. You can click on the Pearson e-text. And then you can access the Pearson e-text online or offline. And even the student can access that online or offline. Offline through the application, they can download the Pearson app. You can find the application now on your mobile, on your smartphone. Just go to the App Store or Google Play and search for Pearson e-text. Then you will find the application, download the application. And with the username and password, you can access the book offline without the internet here you go this is the title will open um, i already highlight some part i left some note here so i can navigate all the chapters available here on the left left hand side as you can see young is very very rich title with resources uh, maybe i will open chapter 23 here <clears throat> and I can do some highlighting, some annotation, add to bookmark so students can find it here on the bookmark uh, list. Here you go. They can find all the bookmark pages. Or they can navigate the pages from here, go to a specific page, maybe 150, and <clears throat> the system will take them direct to this specific page.
let me show you one more thing here the highlighting the notes before we move to our next part which is the study area here you go uh, i can highlight this part with a different color colors here available i can write a note for my student and i can click share it will be automatically shared with all my students it will be saved and shared i can highlight this area with different uh, uh, color and i can add the note here as well and i can share that with my students i this is important and i can click save and so on this is how it looks like this is how the piercing e text okay the study area the simulation the resources the available for our students when you click access the study area from here close the piercing e text and this one let me see uh, can you confirm if you can see the study area and i will return back to chat to see if you have any question no it comes with a specific books okay thank you very much for confirming thank you uh, as you can see this is the chapter resources for all available for all the students um, all the video tutor solutions the one that i mentioned the author or the co-author or one of the editor explain for the how to solve this question by handwriting you would see you would see right now so here the the author explain for the student the question and then he will start solving this question for them or show them how to solve this question this is exactly as if a private tutor <coughs> sitting with the student let me open another one of the video exercise or video tutor can you see here the the author write on uh, on the whiteboard for the student how to solve this question As you can see so this is available for all the chapters inside the book you your student can find those videos here available uh, the video sim, uh, demonstration as you can see this is a live example live cases um, the author team as well explain for the student how to solve the question doing a live experiment it's not only a video on youtube as you can see here in the middle the author asking the student a certain question so it's very very nice interactive video uh, demonstration So as you can see, there is a question for the student, not only uh, giving them the, the video, So let's see, let's say uh, behind the card and see. Okay. 
So it's not about right or wrong answer. It's about the feedback. Why it landed be, be, behind the curve. So as you can see, the author explained for the student uh, the experiment and giving them the question, then explain for them the answer as well. Um, it's really very valu va valuable uh, video tutor live experiments here. Um, maybe I will open another one and then I will go to the FET simulation. And here is the question I'm going to answer and click submit. <coughs> And then we'll see the result after that. So as you can see, it's available for all the chapters from here. You can choose the chapter and see what kind of resources available here. So fit simulations, let's go to the games, our game for today. Uh, this platform or the, those games and, X and, and simulations are developed and designed by University of Colorado in the US. We adopt this platform and add it to uh, our mastering suits, a mastering platform for physics. So let's open the first one estimation here and show it to you how the student would play game and uh, understand the concept. So I'm going to play, as you can see, select training or game, play, level one. So estimation, the system asked me what's the estimation of the small line to the bigger line on a timely manner, because the faster I answer the, uh, the higher for score. Let's say it's 6%. Close, it's 8.1, oh, too far. Next, this one maybe 20%. No, it's 3.4. And next one, this one, four. No, again, maybe this one, 30%. So as you can see, and you can open the sound as well, so it can be more interactive. So it showed the student the accuracy of this. Next. And once the student finished, the system will automatically give them the score. So let's open another game like this one. Vector uh, addition. So let's see. Oh, this is a nice one. So I, I will grab one or more from here. So as you can see, uh, as if I'm, I'm playing right now show the sum maybe changing the style from here one two three show the grid and i will move them so i can measure <clears throat> as you can see it's visualized for the student okay let's open uh this for yeah this one is really nice as well I will open this one. This forces. Ah, uh, yeah. So I need to push here to, to measure the force. As you can see, up on the right hand side, the graph change and the speed. I can add uh, barriers or a change. Maybe I will throw book and calculate. Or maybe I will uh, push this books and show graph of the force from here. And then push back. Maybe I'll change a dog and see the speed. 
Can you see? It's like student playing game to learn. Or maybe got this back. And I can calculate based on the power. Uh, here the force, velocity, and the position. Let me open another one. Me, uh, the moving man. This is really a nice one. Luna land as well is very nice one. So let's open this one. Run. Here you go. As you can see, the more you run, the system will automatically calculate for you. Um, and you can stop and play back. So students can learn from what they're doing and can measure that. You can see the chart, the graph here. When they move, they can see the graph in front of them. Uh, uh, this one is really nice as well. The rocket, how the student will land with the rocket on the moon. This is a construction, how to play the game, and then see. Yeah, with the keyboard. Now, if, if I increase the speed, landing the speed is very high, I did a crash. So I can and play again. And again, the landing speed is very high. I think it needs to be 1.2 to be a uh, good uh, landing. But here it's hard landing. So let me open for you another game. Maybe the Pendulum. I love this one. And one more maybe for the gas properties. And then we will wrap up. Uh, so Pendulum. I really love this game. So again, here, I can play with the pendulum. Maybe show another pendulum with different lens. So I can change the lens uh, of one and two, as you can see. I change the mass lighter or heavier from here. I can change the fraction real time. Planet X, and I can see the acceleration as well. I can do a lot of measurement. I can open the stopwatch to calculate the time, maybe. I can measure between them. I can use another tool or graph. I can reset that and start from scratch again. And as you can see, student can calculate the graph. So one more simulation which is the maybe uh, the gas properties here is really nice one so as you can see we have so many uh, simulations available here this uh, the the circuit construction for kit for AC is really very nice one as well. So click play. Here you go. Student will have unlimited number of trial in a very safe environment to try the experiment and play the game 
I'm pumping the gas now in in and I can measure the pressure I can change the volume it's open as you can see now I'm going to reset that I will change maybe I will uh, add some pressure by this man and here you can see the temperature <clears throat> I can increase the temperature up or down heat or cooler from here um, I can change the weight heavier or lighter change the gravity as well I can pump more I can open the measurement tool from here and I can see the graph it's amazing really amazing as if I'm playing the game to understand the, the gas probabilities and when I do very high pressure here it will open up maybe I will push harder <clears throat> so it's a very safe environment for the unit. I can change heat <clears throat> maybe increase and I can see the details here. So, as you can see, it's amazing. And we have much, much more. One more I can open for you, maybe the circuit. So they built the AC from scratch, the electric circuit for the AC student. Can do a lot, very nice game to run the experiment and understand the concept at the same time. Here you go, wire and connect those together, the battery uh, lamp to measure. As you can see, it's very flexible. You can measure. and the stopwatch and the current graph when we open that on so we can measure from here <clears throat> it's amazing full experiment as if i'm on the lab now i can control the size larger smaller or medium and i can sort my experiment and i can save and maybe reload it I can save it on desktop. So it's really amazing one. And you can reset and you can start again. You can change the load and you can reset and start from scratch. So um, I think it's eight now, it's time. Uh, Okay, um, can you see my presentation, <clears throat> my last slide for today? Okay, now, if you want to hear more. Okay, yes. <laughs> uh, if you want to hear more, if I hope that was helpful today. Um, Oh, sorry to hear that. If screen was freezing. On which part exactly the screen was freezing? When I open which uh, experiment? After the Java? Okay, let me open one more. Uh, uh, I'm going to share my screen again. And let me uh, see if you can see. Can you see my screen, right? Can you see uh, the study area for the student? Yes, okay. 
Uh, I'm going to open again the gas property here, chapter 18. I open the Java program. I'm going to run. Do you see, can you see the fit simulation on Java? I'm going to run this and see if you can. Can you see the gas property, property is 3.15 here? Let me see in the chat, no. Freezing again. So you cannot, you cannot see the experiment, the simulation from here. Let me stop sharing and maybe share again my screen one more time. Okay, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to share my screen again. Can you see the fit simulation? Okay, can you see it now? Can you see I'm playing with the gas, I'm adding, it's open up. Uh, I can change <coughs> the heat and warm from here. I can change the volume. No motion to be seen. Oh, sorry to hear that. Um, okay, what we will do, I will share with you um, the QR code now on my presentation. Uh, and you can try it yourself. You can try the simulation from the study area. It's really amazing when you go there and play. So you can try unlimited number of trial on the, on the FIT simulation and see them online as well. It's really very nice. Uh, so far, how to get support? Get your mobile right now and scan this QR code, open your camera, and it will take you direct to this link, which is, I'm going to op copy the link. Yeah if you want to get more support with the distance learning, if you want to reactivate your Pearson account or maybe create a new account for you. I got early some question about that, uh, how to activate my account <coughs> or how to uh, access my the Pearson Mastering Physics or any Pearson My Lab Mastering product for nursing, for any other. Scan this QR code. It will take you direct to... Uh, this link, the one that I send it on the chat box, as well as I'm going to give you my email address, just in case. If you have any other question, I would be more than happy to run for you an uh, individual webinar showing, showing you uh, a specific feature inside the lab. Um, if you would like to get more info and see the recorded webinars, uh, you just go to the middleeast.pearson.com from here link and you will access all the recorded webinar and this particular webinar with the presentation you will find it here available online on the Pearson Middle East and if you would like to try the simulation, the game, the study area, see the videos, um, download the resources as well, the instructor resources and try the mastering physics today with your student just uh, fill the form here with your name, the institution that you teach in, and the courses that you teach. And then one of our account manager from Pearson will contact you and uh, will set up for you the account where arrange for this account. So um, I think it's time now. Um, I will be more than happy to answer any of your question if you have. <clears throat> Other than that, I would like to thank you very, very much. Really, I really appreciate your time and hope that was helpful for today. Uh, thank you very much for your attendance. You will receive an email from our marketing team 
after the session with the certificate and recording uh, of the session. You have my email address if you have any question. If you would like to run another individual webinar, just be in, get in touch with me. Uh, send me an email and I will be more than happy to uh, share my screen and uh, um, explain for you any Pearson MyLab mastering or any specific feature inside the MyLab mastering. Okay. So, do you have any other question before we? I'm, I'm going to stop the recording.